everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can configure Vault to use the Okta auth method. Now on the screen, you can see that I am logged into my Okta dashboard here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to security and we are going to create an API key that we are gonna use for Vault. So I'm gonna to go to security, I'm gonna go down to API and click tokens. And this is where we're gonna create a token. Before we create a token, let's jump over to Vault and let's check it out really quick. So I'm just running in dev mode here. So let's look at a Vault status. You can see I'm running in dev mode. You can tell by the storage type is in mem, but it doesn't matter. It works the same regardless. So I'm gonna clear the screen here. Now the first thing we need to do is enable the Okta authentication method. So what we'll do is we'll do Vault's auth enable, and we're gonna just enable an Okta. So we now have enabled that as Okta. If we can do Vault auth list, you can now see that we have Okta enabled. So the first thing we need to do is we need to configure Okta and provide it with all those credentials. So the first thing we're gonna do is jump back over here. I'm gonna go ahead and create a token. I'm just gonna call this vault and create a token. I'm just gonna copy this into my clipboard here. So I'm gonna actually paste this over on my other screen just so I have it as a reference. So now what we need to do is provide the configuration for our Okta auth method. So we're gonna say vault writes, and we're gonna do auth slash Okta because that's the path that we enabled it on. And we're gonna say config, and we're gonna provide it with three key bits of information here. First, we're gonna provide it with the base URL. So base URL equals, and for everybody that's using Okta, this is just gonna be Okta.com. It's gonna be identical for anybody using Okta. And the next thing we need to provide is the org name. Now the org name is going to be different for every organization that uses Okta, and mine just happens to be called Krausen. And the last thing is that we need to provide it with this API token that we just created. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna copy that out. And don't worry, this will be deleted as soon as I get done with this video, so don't bother copying it. So we're gonna hit enter on that, and we've just written that configuration for our Okta auth method. So in order to read that back, we'll do a vault read, say auth Okta config, hit enter on that. And you can see our base URL is now Okta. We have the org name of Krausen, the organization is Krausen. Okay, I didn't set anything with a TTL or anything like that. All right, so now that we have the configuration set up, the next thing we need to do is actually set up a user. So in order to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say vault writes auth Okta. Now in this case, you can type in users, or you can type in groups here. And so what I'm gonna do is actually type in users because I'm just gonna add the one user, which is myself. And that one user is gonna be Brian at Krausen.io. And then the policies that I want to assign myself is just called Brian. We're gonna hit enter on that. And just like that, we've written a new configuration to our Okta auth method. So we're permitting just the one user, Brian at Krausen.io. And this user is going to have the policy associated named Brian. So now what we should be able to do is we should be able to pull over our vault node here, and we should be able to log in to vault using the Okta auth method. So I'm gonna type in the username of Brian at Krausen.io. And then I need to go grab my credential because I do not know my password for this. So I'm gonna paste that in there. I'm gonna hit sign in. And there we go. We just signed into Vault using our Okta auth method. And we set up the one user. So you actually go to access, you can click on Okta and you can actually click on users. And you can see here is the one user that I set up. You can also see how you can easily do this in the UI also by creating a user, adding the name, adding a group or adding a policy here and then saving it. And then of course that user will be able to log in. If you wanted to add a group, if you have groups set up in Okta, you can just create a group in here. So type in the group name, how it shows up in Okta, select the policy or policies that you want to apply to that group, hit save, and that's how you can set up groups that are set up in Okta. So hopefully with this short lab, you better understand how to set up Vault using the Okta auth method.